welcome back to my channel. It's Maria if you're new here. I decided to film this video because I've had my fair share of Netflix, online shopping, and spending all my money. This video is going to be about how to be productive during social distancing, and I just have some tips on how I've been able to do that. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing and joining the fam, and make sure to turn on your post notifications. I post every single day, so there'll be new content every single day. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first thing I do to keep myself productive is pick a time to wake up and stick to it. So the reason that I did this is I was waking up when we first started quarantine at 2 or 3 p.m. every single day and this was just really wasting away my days. I wasn't being very productive, so I decided I wasn't getting up as early as I would going to work, but I was getting up at 9 or 10 every single day. I would set my alarm for those times every single day and be productive for at least eight hours and I think by choosing a time to wake up just really help you boost your productivity and not waste away another day even though we are stuck in quarantine. And the next thing that I have been doing is choosing a productive place to work and sticking with that place. So the reason that I say that you should stick with that place is that a lot of times the brain will associate certain places as relaxation spaces and certain places as productive spaces. That is why a lot of people say, oh, like when I'm at work and I'm actually going into somewhere, I can be very productive, but it's just harder at home. You can change the way your brain thinks about productivity just by simply choosing a place to be productive at, which will make the brain think, okay, this is the place I go when I really, really need to get moving and be more productive with my work. And then the next thing you can do to be more productive avoiding distractions like family members in your workspace. So you really have to think to yourself, if I was in the office right now, would I have my family constantly coming in and coming out of my space? No, that would be very distracting. A good way to prevent this is first letting them know that you're working so they aren't constantly coming in and out of your space and also telling them where your space is so they can avoid it. This really helps because if they're constantly coming in, it can really make you lose touch of what you're doing at that moment. So by just letting them know, hey, I'm gonna be working from this time to this time, that is a great way to be productive and avoid having distraction. The fourth thing that I do recommend and that I've been doing is leaving the space that I'm working in when I am done working in it. This has to do with the second tip where the brain associates somewhere with productive working. If, if I'm working on legitimate stuff that I have to get done in that space, and then I just start sitting down at that space and playing Netflix or something like that, then obviously my brain's gonna get confused and it's gonna be like, oh, well I can watch Netflix here. I can also do my work here, so I'm confused. By leaving the space when it's time to rest, you're really preventing that. The brain only associates that space as the place that you are working. And the next thing I do that helps me so much that I was having such problems with is planning out your breaks. So planning out your breaks is super, super important and let me tell you why. So say I'm working on something, I'm kind of stumped, I'm kind of tired, so I say, all right, I'm gonna take a break. Then I come back for an hour and I'm working on it, then I go, okay, I'm gonna take another break and then I work for another hour and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take another break. That is a whole lot of breaks. So if you pick maybe one or two times a day to kind of say, okay, so I'll like maybe eat lunch during this time for 30 minutes and then I'll take another little mini break. Then you know what times you have your breaks and you're not taking little mini breaks that you don't need during the day, which can be really helpful because that if you're home, you tend to say, okay, I'll take a break here, I'll take a break there. You realize that you've taken about three hours worth of breaks. So by kind of just setting in your schedule what times you're taking breaks, it's gonna help you be more productive and have time for your actual work. And then the next thing I really recommend is making a schedule and sticking to it. The reason I say this is if you just have all your things kind of jumbled up of what you have to do, then it's really, really hard. You're setting the different things you're doing throughout the day so everything gets done. Maybe for one hour I'm filming my YouTube videos, then the next hour I'm like, okay, I'm gonna edit my YouTube videos. And then my third hour, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna refine anything I have. So this really just creates a time slot for everything you have to do through that day. 
to make sure it gets done. So scheduling your time and sticking to what you're doing at a certain time is really important and it just makes you more organized and more productive throughout the day. And the seventh thing that I think that a lot of people have a hard time doing is ending your day at a reasonable time. This goes along as well with not being in the office and just feeling like your schedule is sort of jumbled. What I do is I try and be productive with other things from 10 to 6 p.m. every day. So that allows me to wake up a little bit later than I would if I was working and just really allows me to say, okay, it's 6 p.m., you know, I've done all my work, it's time to relax rather than trying to catch up on other things. So there's always another day for you to do your work. Just treat your workspace like you are going to leave the office and go home because that's really what you have to do with your workspace. Just stay there when you're working on things, but you really have to learn to move away from that and away from that and not put in extra hours just because you're at home and just put all your work materials away when you've done a full eight hour, nine hour day. And a little bonus thing that I've been doing just to be a little bit more productive is coming up with something that I've always wanted to do, but there was always an excuse. I was working or I had plans or something like that. So I try and come up with something every day. So maybe one day I've been organizing my closet. Maybe one day I've been organizing my entire room. Maybe one day I've even been organizing what's going on in my computer. By doing this, I'm just staying active with things that I need to do. I know a lot of people as well have been working out because they finally feel like they have extra time to do that. These little things will help you stay productive and if you're, if you're able to come up with extra tasks you can do to pass the time, then you will feel a lot more productive throughout your day. And then the ninth thing about productivity that a lot of people kind of overlook is knowing when to rest. So knowing when to rest is extremely important because this can actually lower your productivity. A lot of people don't think this, but if you're constantly working and constantly working over and over again, even being in quarantine, if you're doing this too much, you are gonna burn out eventually. So it's very, very important to just remember to rest, remember when your day's over, go out for a walk, maybe just do something that you actually enjoy because spending the entire time in quarantine just working and working is eventually going to burn you out even though you may not realize it. So that is the end of the video for today. I hope it helped you. I know these things have been helping me. If you like this video, then I have a lot of other videos on productivity, making money online if you're currently unemployed. Stuff like that really helped me while in social distancing, so definitely check those out. And if you like my videos, then I really appreciate the support. So please subscribe if you did like this video. Turn on your post notifications so you never miss me. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.